Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you make. Hi friends, welcome back to NHSRN. Hopefully everybody is fine, having a great time. Uh, everybody is safe as well. Then this is the right time to appear your OSCE exam. So prepare very well and appear your OSCE exam as early as possible because this exam is getting very very uh, easier than before. So we can discuss a small uh, sweet OSCE skill station called peak flow station. So let's start what are the main things when you do uh, peak flow uh, station or you need to remember in your mind. So I would say what uh, the steps so you could get some idea. Okay, so if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment. I will give the um, go through the basic idea about the peak flow station. Okay, so as you know it's a 12 minutes station so 12 minutes so try to prepare within 10 minutes or 8 minutes okay so this is the easiest station so just to try um, you know calm down relax and prepare very well at home so first of all that station you need to gel your hand or hand gel or hand wash whatever you feel but comfortable then um, area is safe to approach like check for the safety before you approaching the patient then second step um, so introduce yourself like hello my name is this I'm here and say why you are here explain like I am here to explain uh, how to perform a peak flow then get the consent is that okay for you is that okay with you then get the consent the third one you could say explain what you are going to do so first of all you would introduce what you're going to do then you get consent after that you just need to explain the patient that what you are going to do and why you are doing it and how you're going to do it okay so peak flow you could easily say peak flow measures your peak expiratory flow which is the highest flow of air achieved on forced inspiration which will assist us and you to monitor your respiratory condition and effectiveness of your medication so it's in a simple way you would say peak flow measures your peak expiratory flow so that helps us to identify or monitor your respiratory condition or effectiveness and ex effectiveness of your medication so in a simple way you just explain to the patient you can um, prefer what are the easiest ex, um, you know easiest definition you can say to the patient and make sure that patient is understood what you are going to do okay the next one is you would say um, what you can ask to the patient what is the best peak flow recording so that time you can um, either patient would say this is the best peak flow recording of mine or you can check into the document if you can't find or the patient doesn't know then you can uh, what is their best peak flow is then calculate you need to calculate it okay um, so usually uh, you can calculate with age and weight okay so what is your current peak flow recording that is uh, um, uh, related to the age and height then what you need to do after that you can do the um, assemble your equipments so first of all assemble your equipment and to push the gauge to zero always 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 monitor that your gauge is zero before you give the peak flow to the patient okay this is the meter then explain to the patient that what you are going to do and what it is and everything okay older patient know about it you have to simply explain what you're going to do okay so you can explain this is the meter you must hold it horizontally and keep your fingers away from the gauge when you blow into it so i'm i think i'm not too fast if i'm too fast please let me know so you can explain to the patient this is a meter you must hold it horizontally and keep your fingers away from the gauge when you blow into it because when the patient holding the fingers on the gauge it can uh, affect the 
reading so make sure that patient is not holding the gauge part okay then after that you can uh, explain um, mouthpiece so you can explain to the patient that this is the mouthpiece it's, it is disposable and this is how it attached to the meter so you can attach to the, mm, the uh, mouthpiece you can attach to the uh, peak flow uh, just to show how you attached okay and explain it to the patient then to use the meter to you must either be sit or stood upright don't flex your neck so this is the instruction you're going to say um, are you going to uh, give the instruction to the patient so you would say to the patient that um, this um, this time you have to the patient must be sit or stood up upright position and you don't flex your neck and you make sure that you use the same position every time you perform the peak flow okay so just to make sure that patient in a sat position sitting position or a stood position um, stand up position um, then uh, ask the patient don't flex the neck and to make sure that the patient in the same position when they do the three times okay this is usually do three times when we take the highest rating so the next one you would say um, you should perform the your peak flow three times a day first thing in the morning lunch time and before bed so that's the three time we do you should have three attempt each time and document the highest reading ensure the gauge is returned to zero prior to each document so this is the instruction you give to the patient when you blow into the meter you should take a deep breath through your mouth and hold it for a for not more than two seconds okay so this is the instruction you have to make sure that you got it correctly then you can then only you can explain to the patient very well okay when you blow into the meter you should take a deep breath so ask the patient take a deep breath then ask them to um, hold um, the uh, don't uh, ask them to don't hold not not more than two second uh, seal your lips tightly around the mouthpiece blow into the meter in the short sharp half as forcefully as forcefully as you can that means you can ask the patient that take a deep breath ask them don't hold it more than two second tell them tell the patient that seal your lips tightly around the mouthpiece and ask them to do a uh, forcefully a expiration the half sound is the expiration sound okay then demonstrate if you can just to demonstrate a uh, peak flow without actually blowing into the mouthpiece okay so the patient will get an idea what you wanted to uh, do it okay so patient will get what they wanted to do do it so always uh, demonstrate it then ask the patient do you have any doubts so if the patient have any doubt you can just explain to you very well once the patient is settled like patient understood what they need to do then uh, ask them to do three times okay so each time you do the examiner will move the gauge and give it to you so you have to read that what is the um, reading write it down and then uh, ask the patient to do it again the examiner will um, put it back to a reading then you have to write it down then again three times okay whenever the uh, examiner give you back with the reading definitely you put it back to zero before you give it back to the patient i means when you each time make sure that you put it back to zero before you ask the patient to do blow blowing okay so if you have any doubt just ask in the question uh, uh, comment box i'm happy to answer answer then um if any drift, uh, difference of more than 40 liter per minute uh, between two two top readings then you have to perform fourth and fifth re um, re reading okay you need to ask them to do fourth and fifth attempt okay and if the patient is breathlessness you can't do that 
um, if there is more than 20 percent difference between the highest reading then uh, predicted peak flow uh, reading and the predicted peak flow then that's a signing of a sign of respiratory condition is worsening so then you have to go through plas uh, as asthma action plan or seek advice from advice from the gp or emergency dial triple nine so you i hope you got it understand so that the if there is a more than 20 percent difference between the highest reading and the predicted peak flow then that's a sign of patient is getting uh, respiratory condition is getting worse then you have to take a proper action like you have to follow asthma care plan or seek a gp advice or call emergency triple nine okay then after that uh, you just advise the patient you should wash your meter monthly with a soap and water shake it from side to side and rinse it and leave it dry and replace your meter every year so then uh, once you explain everything just ask the patient that any doubts do you have any doubts so if not just uh, wash your hand or gel your hand that's the basic idea about um, peak flow so this uh, just explain takes a little bit more time actually so i try to do as fast as you can i can so if you have any doubt just um, just get back to me in comment i will definitely give an answer then um, i'm recording some of my rec um, recent exam successful exam candidates who are going to give you what are the latest tips uh, of oski so be um, stay tuned uh, be online <laughs> so um, please subscribe so uh, you can see all my videos whenever i update it and don't forget to give me uh, if you like the video please put like we've got a tangled caught in what's before our eyes show off your fantasy reality whoa